The disinformation campaign regarding caste in the USA is a wielded attack on the Hindu American community. Clothed in the finely crafted garb of social justice, colonial identitarian politics of caste, Dalit, Adivasi, Brahmanism, and other harmful tropes are brainwashing Hindu Americans, Americans, Indian Americans, and also the youth of the United States into thinking that caste discrimination is rampant in the United States without any evidence and lack of any police complaints. What is worse is the alarming trend to institutionalize these colonial tropes that enslaved India actually, just like it enslaved the African Americans at one point. And adding these um, tropes into US civil rights policy and in corporate policy and in university campuses. Sadly, only a few ha handful of academics know that caste was a colonial trope and had colonial roots. This is because legacy atrocity literature generated over centuries, as well as newfound gizmos like the critical caste theory, are packed into colonial utensils like Dalit and Adivasi terminologies to maintain the falsehood about Hinduism being casteist of Brahmanism and of a hierarchical system of subjugation. As Dirks has pointed out, caste was an ethnographic ter term and device to rule the rich and diverse population of India through colonization. Today, the United States since 2018 is facing recolonization of the Indian Americans. And we discuss here the various ways in which this has happened. One conference attended by Ivy League universities called Dismantling Global Hindutva spewed hate against Hindus in an institutionalized manner. And it becomes alarming for us to think that our own students and even foreign students that come from India are attending these colleges and facing these tropes in a rampant case of discrimination and Hindu hate. This is the weaponization of caste in the United States.